it's night. In the dark we're afraid. Yet, as the day comes up, I feel terrified to see the reality that surrounds me. It seems what I've always believed in has started to disintegrate. I am in this room for the night. Maybe more. I don't know. These unpleasant rashes have now become almost unbearable. I couldn't have imagined this when it started two weeks ago and the large red lesion appeared. I need a response to this disease sign how to alleviate my pain. As I walk, the city appears as normal, as though nothing has changed. But somehow beyond the surface it feels different. The colors, the lights, and yet we are left with impassable silence. I'm looking for you. My gaze can't reach anything beyond this darkness. Fleeting lights crossing endless streams of cars and bodies. Everything is floating. I need a response, a sign. This world is mute. I am in a world of silence. But I must find you. Neither of us made the decision to come here. You were forced to flee your homeland. And I couldn't stay in mine any longer for fear of becoming paralyzed. Those vast vessels which once carried our dreams, all are empty now. The war has changed everything. It has come with a price. Perhaps I'm late, or it's just late. Perhaps you will believe I was unable to hold on to your love when we met at Damascus University. I only wish at this very moment I could love you again. To find you wherever you may be. If only it were that easy. 
That morning, we walked through the orchards. The Barada Valley is still vivid as if it were yesterday. All destroyed, rubble now. The long moments that followed were a growing agony of fear, and yet, you wanted to stay. This is my place, Habibi. This is where I belong. This war will be long. I left with no goodbye, inflicting myself with an injury that has grown since. I'm changing. I'm becoming without you, without knowing your fate. This sickness has taken me over. <laughs> 